folks ever had a clip you like but the quality ruins it, the image is noisy, details are soft and the resolution is so low that everything falls apart on a big screen. I've been testing AI RT Video Enhancer as a quick way to rescue footage like this and make it usable again. You basically load a clip, choose the right AI model, set your output and export in a few clicks. I'm Daniel and today I'll walk you through four real upgrades. We'll take a 720p visual and push it to 4K. We'll also enhance and rotate a people video, clean up a low-res dog visual and restore an old clip with turbo mode plus color tweaks. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Let's get into it. Mate's AI RT Video Enhancer is a desktop AI tool built to fix problem footage. It removes digital noise, rebuilds missing detail and upscales clips even all the way to 4K, which is one of its main strengths. The key idea is that you pick an AI model based on your footage type and the platform handles the heavy lifting automatically. AI artists' models fall into three categories – detail restoration, human or skin enhancement and smooth natural upscaling. And friends, when speed matters, AI RT has turbo mode. It ramps up GPU power to process faster, with only a slight hit to quality. The workflow stays simple every time. Load footage, preview, choose the model and settings, add a task, then export. Now let me show you how that looks with real clips. Alright mates, for the first example I'm taking this next video. It's only 720p, so the detail looks pretty soft and I want to upgrade it all the way to 4K. I load it into AI RT and right away we can preview what the enhancement will look like. I set the upscale target to 4K and for the AI model I choose more detail. I am picking this one because the clip has a lot of tiny textures and small elements and more detail is designed to rebuild those more clearly. Guys, that way the upscale doesn't just make the image bigger, it actually makes it sharper. Next I enable frame interpolation and set the frame rate to 60 frames per second. This doubles the smoothness of motion, which is great when the original footage feels a bit choppy. I am not using slow-mo here because I don't need slow motion for this video. I can also switch on HDR and in this case it just pushes the image to look cleaner and more vivid. Once everything is set folks, I add the task and export the current version. The tool processes the clip automatically and when it's done I open the result. You can see the difference instantly. This is now a clean, sharp 4K version. Now guys, I've got another video and this one needs two things – enhancement and a 90 degree rotation. I load the clip into AI RT and first I keep enhancement enabled because it clearly needs cleanup. Then I open edit and rotate the frame 90 degrees so the orientation is correct. For the AI model I choose Smooth HQ version 3. I am using it because it's made specifically for videos with people. It keeps skin tones natural, preserves facial texture and removes noise without smearing details. So folks, for talking head or portrait visuals, this model usually gives the most realistic result. After that I set the upscale to 4K as well. I run the task and wait for AI RT to finish processing. Once it's ready, I open the output and check the result. The clip is sharper, cleaner and rotated correctly in one pass. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. Next up is the dog clip. I drag the video onto the screen and it appears in the workspace. First I show the before and after by dragging the comparison slider, so you can clearly see what AI RT changes. Now mates, I set the upscale to 4K again. I go back to the slider and show the difference one more time. Details are sharper, noise is reduced and the overall image looks much cleaner. At this point the result already looks solid. Then I click edit and you can see the original resolution is only 640 by 360 so this was a very low quality source. I hit add task, then export current 
and AI RT starts exporting. After export finishes, I open the final result and you can see it plays smoothly in 4K with the dog moving naturally. Folks, for the last example, I am taking this old low resolution clip and restoring it to 4K. I load the video and set the upscale target to the needed resolution. Then I enable turbo mode, which speeds up processing when you need a fast preview or when time matters more than absolute maximum quality. You'll also notice step mode here. Step mode can improve quality and reduce VRAM use. But it slows processing down a lot, so it's better for final exports when you want the best possible output. I'm not changing any edit tools for this clip, but I do want to improve the colors. Mates, I raise saturation to 8 and add a bit of punch with contrast to 5. You can also tweak color tint and temperature, so I warm it slightly and boost the colors a bit more. I confirm the changes and we see the preview update right on screen. In export settings you can choose video and audio codecs if you need a specific format. I add the task and hit export current, then wait for processing to finish. When the export is ready, I open the result. And now this old clip looks clean and properly upscaled to 4K. So overall mates, AI RT is a strong tool for rescuing footage you'd normally throw away. We upgraded 720p to 4K with detail restoration, enhanced and rotated a people clip using a human-focused model, turned a tiny 640x360 dog video into clean 4K and restored an old visual with turbo acceleration and color correction. If you often deal with noisy, soft or low-resolution videos from phones, cameras or AI tools, this can save a lot of editing time, it's quick to use, has multiple AI models for different footage types, and turbo mode can push processing speeds way up when needed. Feel free to check out the links in the description below, you might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.